Oh, look -hoo. We forgot our uh, maracas. Forgot our maracas. We forgot our mariachi band. We forgot the whole thing, right? Oh boy. Yeah. So, Sandra. Hi there. Oh, hi. How are you today? I am just peachy, but I'm just? talking to myself in one ear and getting like the whole. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So, how are you? Um, I am good. Excellent, excellent. So it's Cinco de Mayo. Yesterday was the force be with you, May force. Okay, I'm with you. Yesterday. I was trying to figure out, I'm sorry, everyone. I was trying to figure out where the live was and how to share it and getting distracted. And then I kept hearing feedback. I'm okay, I'm okay now. Oh, well, I totally get it. I totally yeah. get it. Hello, Jesse. Say hi. If you're doing this live, say hello. We want to hear what you have to tell us. How's your week been? How's getting food out onto the table? Boy, that was a popular like video we did yesterday. There were a lot of people who were interested about or had thoughts about getting food on the table on a busy work day. Yeah. Well, that's always a big deal, right? Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. We got Beth, we got Jesse, somebody else here waiting for them to announce themselves. So uh, yeah, it's been a crazy but awesome week, says Jesse. That's amazing, amazing, amazing. So today, what are we talking about, Sharon, Shannon? Sharon? Um, today, <laughs> we, whoever I am. Yeah, we... you over there. <laughs> We have a bunch of just like general announcements, I believe. No, no particular topic. Um, just some logistic things we wanted to make sure everyone knew about and some fun, exciting announcements for next week. Am I right? Yes, yes. And just before we got on here, I was playing with um, avatar backgrounds and things on um, Zoom looking for a mexican sombrero and there were none none I almost came on as a pirate though i patch and everything <laughs> it was fantastic we'll have to do that for um talk like a pirate day <laughs> exactly um okay <laughs> i'm getting distracted sandra yes come back to me what, yes. Why don't you tell everybody about yes. the fun and exciting things that we have coming for next week? Oh, so next week we have some guest speakers. Truly some guest speakers. And that is like going to blow my mind. We have we have a um do we tell them who we have? We have a food blogger. <gasps> Who's quite popular in the Cleveland area. She has been on Guy's Grocery Games. She has been on the Food Network, the Truck Show. She's quite um, an amazing human being also. So she will be coming on. I'm not revealing her name yet, but I'm sure many of you know her. I don't. Uh, I'm excited to see her. Meet her. And we have... A fitness trainer joining us on Monday who specifically specializes in fitness for women in perimenopause and menopause. So she's going to provide a really interesting point of view um, around the whole concept of how we think about our bodies, especially as we age. Mm. Wow. Aging and body shape is like, boy, oh boy. Yeah. All bets are off. <laughs> It's, Let's just our, say support yeah. garments are it. <laughs> <laughs> or no, or not. Okay, or not. Right? Why do we have to wear support garments? Trust me when I say, <laughs> for me, it is necessary. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair point. Fair point. Okay. No one needs oh. to see that. Let me just say that. <laughs> we won't go there right now. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We're live and public. God, God help us all. <laughs> okay, so guests are going to be popping in. It's going to be fun. Yes. What else? There's something else coming. 
you, you have this mysterious challenge you keep talking <gasps> oh, about. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. <laughs> We are going to be putting out a challenge for anybody that would like to join us. Um, it's going to be a fun week of activities and exercises, not like exercises, exercises, but, you know, things to think about, things to try, conversations, all kinds of things. And we're going to be sharing some interesting statistics with you and um, if you would like to participate in the challenge, we'll be making a post about that on Sunday evening, um, and you can jump in on the challenge. Um, and who knows, there might be a prize at the end of the challenge for somebody, maybe a few somebodies. Now that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. I so like we're going to be talking about that offline, right? I know. Whoa, what are those? That's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm on board with whatever Sandra's all about. So if she says there's going to be prizes. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be prizes. Joked about them. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have guests. We have challenges. We have yes. free fun stuff and treats coming. And what else do we need to let? I just want to say that I have not started to celebrate Cinco de Mayo yet. Oh, no, if you don't even have a margarita or anything in you, oh, Lord. No, but it is a full moon today. So if anybody's thinking like it's a crazy day out there, it's Cinco de Mayo and a full moon. Is it a lunar eclipse? It's a lunar eclipse. It is. Whoa. Yeah. Stay indoors, people. <laughs> okay. Lunar eclipse. Equals not good for Facebook lives. <laughs> um, okay. okay, so let's get serious. So we yes. need to make sure everyone here knows, right? We've been talking about all of these things around body image and relationships with food, how we're putting on this amazing retreat on June 3rd, which we hope everyone will join us for. And we have some... Um, we wanted to make sure that everyone knows that there is early bird pricing in effect now all the way up until May 15th. And at May 15th, the early bird pricing will go away. So if you have been thinking, mm, this sounds amazing and or ooh, Shannon and Sandra are hilarious and I would love to spend the day with them, make the move now, register while you can still get the early bird pricing. Um, and we also have a payment plan options available. If anyone is interested in those, you would reach out to either Sandra and I directly and we can help set you up with those. Yeah. And the reason for the reaching out directly is that it's uh, not an easy process to do on Eventbrite. So it's much easier if you just call us and we'll work it out with you so that, you know, you can attend. We want people to attend. Um, we want to share this information. We want um really to have the community together and talk about um, this really important topic. And, you know, we have to add a whole section around women aging and um, support things. Yeah, agreed. Because as we age, our bodies change and how we look at and view our bodies definitely change. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. Yeah, and I think the other part of it is that the women who are joining us next week are going to be sharing their experiences on this journey, right? I mean, there isn't a woman alive who does not have an experience with this journey, right? It, it impacts everything that about our lives and how we feel about ourselves. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that changes over time, right? You may have felt one way or you may have lived your life one way in certain stages of your life. And then as you age, everything changes again and again. And it's almost like a reinvention of yourself all the time. And then a new perspective on how you meet and how you feel about you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, one of the things that uh, Shannon and I have been doing in the background um, offline is uh, we've been trying out some of the things that we have planned for retreat day. So last weekend we got together and we made our craft project, our art project. 
And uh, my youngest saw it when they came to the office on Tuesday. And their response was, oh, it. can I have it? And I was like, no. <laughs> and they were like, can I do it? Like, can I do this art project with you? I said, well, me. Be. And then it was like, well, can I come to the retreat then? If if you're going to be doing it, can I just come to the retreat? Because like, I want to do it. Right. So yeah, it's that cool. That yeah. cool. Well, and my 13 year olds were quite impressed. They were like, you did that mom. I was like, I did. Yeah. So yeah, it's fun and easy. And we made it easier Yeah. <laughs> because you there won't were walk some- away with with glue there were all some over your like, uh, yes. there were some let's just say it was a good thing we tried it out <laughs> yes. so that will be fun I am excited for that I it'll be too. a beautiful visual reminder of the intentions you set for yourself for the day you know and I think the other really nice part about this whole thing is oftentimes when we talk about this type of a program we walk away feeling like I should I should do this, or I should do that, or I commit to doing this more. And then a week later, it's like, it's done, right? Like we've totally moved on and we've forgotten. And I think one of the really nice things about um, the retreat day is the real focus and emphasis on no one's going to tell you anything you should be doing. Um, Yeah, Jesse just said something that almost gave it away. She was. I was picking it off for a day. But Jesse, don't worry. We've we figured out those glitches. We've 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 solved the glue issue. Let's just yes. say nobody's yes. gonna be walking out with like their fingers stuck to their forehead. <laughs> no. Because it's really hard to drive like this, I found out. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, not to mention you look really nerdy, you know, when you show up and it's hard to roll over in your sleep. Um, but, but okay. I digress, yes. we're focused, Focusing focus back. people, focus people. <laughs> you were saying when you come to a retreat like this, yes. just like anything else, you're immersed in it and you're in it and you're like, yes, I love this. I'm totally going to work on this. I'm totally going to do this. And then you go back to real life and all of that is forgotten. Yeah. But this, this art project is going to be something that will help remind you every single day and that you can keep right in front of you because it's not ginormous um, to help you remember. And you're also going to walk away with different exercises, techniques, tools, things you can actually start doing um, rather than just talking or thinking, things you can actually do to start to help yourself. And I think there are other two other aspects that I want to highlight. The first one is change begins with awareness. And so a lot of what we will do that day is to unearth things that we may not currently be aware of in -hmm. ourselves. And once we become aware of something, we can move in different directions, right? And so this isn't somebody, this isn't me or Shannon or Diane saying, this is what you need to do. This is you becoming aware of something that is true for you and you making the choices that make sense for you. So the only person in this contract that you're making about how I want to be different or how I want to move differently or what I want to do as I leave this day, it's you and you having a conversation, which, you know, in my case can be quite interesting because, you know, I actually do that. What do you think? Well, what do you think? If this conversation is any indication of that, I think they all get that. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, this is not about us telling you what to do. Not at all. It doesn't so, work. No, it doesn't. Diets work. don't no. work and people telling you what to do don't work. Right. It's about discovering and starting to understand you and find the right things for you. Which is what I'm all about. So, well, no, you're uh, about one more thing. Oh, what am I about? You're about four thirty date night. I know I have date night tonight, so we have to wrap this up. Okay, wrap this up. Take us home, um, Shannon. Okay, so I think we wanted to, like, I think we hit all the points we wanted to, ladies or whoever's watching. Um, 
We wanted to make sure you guys remembered that it is an early bird special ending May 15th, that there are payment plan options available. If you need them, contact Sandra or I. Um, get excited for next week because we will start having guests pop in, share their experiences. Um, a challenge, this mysterious challenge is coming, which I also am super stoked about. Um, and prizes. And prizes. How could I forget the prizes? I can't wait for the prizes. Um, and we also wanted to make sure that you all knew that if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you want to talk about your specific situations with either Sandra or myself, please, we are open and available and are happy to take one-on-one -on -one calls or chats with people um, to answer all those questions or to talk through all of those things. And we'll put a link to our calendar if anybody wants to schedule some time to talk with us on the chat, on the, on the comments, on the follow me below to subscribe. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I will do that too. As soon as we're done, I will put my link. All right. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Is there a song? Uh, we could make one up. I, I just, I was just at a loss for like a melody, which I never am. I, I always am singing a melody. All right. My I'm kids waiting. get embarrassed. I'm trying to think of no, one. No, 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 it's Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. I can't think of something else. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. Okay, ladies, I have date night. Have a lovely weekend. We will see you on Monday. Bye.